Alright guys, I know I said I was going to be making some YouTube videos, but the ATI Strike Force stock needs a little bit of attention from me because I realize that that's one of my most popular videos. And me being the mogul that I am, let's do another up close and personal just kind of look and feel of this particular stock as I believe I promised several times but never came through on. First and foremost, the bolt is back, the magwell is clear. The bolt will not drive forward unless the mag spring is down, so unless this gun can magically load itself, I think we are 100% safe. Not to mention that the SKS also has a hard safety. Let me show that. Let me make sure I'm getting everything in frame. It's got a hard safety, so that trigger won't go back because it's just got a bar that blocks it. It's smart. All right, the SKS Strike Force stock. It's been on this particular Norinco for about three years now. I've shot about 60 rounds through it, not much, but I really like it. I've taken a lot of the accoutrement that you get with it off. For instance, there's no rails, there's no foregrip, and there's no cheek rest, but they give you a bunch of rails and a bunch of other stuff you can do with this to set it up to your liking. So if you want to target shoot with your SKS or turn it into a more modular platform, put some lasers on it, whatever, the ATI will really help you do whatever you want to it. And also, it's a folder, if you didn't notice. And the folder works great. You can shoot it while it's folded. It's a great little six position buttstock. Sturdy as all hell, as good as any Magpul furniture I've had. And it really can help any shooter out in terms of length. I find the SKS stocks, <laughs> I find the SKS stock, stock, or standard, just too short. It just, it, it really, you got to drive it back into the crutch of your arm. Whereas this, you can kind of get a good, comfortable feel for it. Now, I have Tough One gun grips on these. Not included. I thought it just uh, looked nice, felt nice, but the original pistol grip is actually very tactile. I just have bigger hands, and I hate the uh, I hate pistol grips. Really, our uh, finger grooves is what I'm looking for. So that kind of helps me overcome my hate of finger grooves. But again, all personal, great stock. Another thing why it doesn't have a foregrip is just because I like to put my thumb straight and aim with my thumb first. And it just feels super comfortable to do that, super thin, no different than a regular SKS. I thought the foregrip was a little awkward. It's just, it's not my thing. It, it really, I don't know. It's just, it's just not for me. So there it is, in all of its glory. The Norinco SKS in the state, in, in the Strike Force stock. I really can't recommend it enough if you want to keep it simple like I have. Or if you want to go crazy with it. I mean, you can do any kind of modification that you want after you put it in this stock. I mean, the world is your oyster. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you want to see any more. But it's a very simple stock, and I have it set up very simple. It works. It's great. It keeps the gun accurate. It keeps the gun more useful than it ever would be. Thanks for watching.